okay, okay, I'll do it. Don't worry, you guys. In fact, I wanted to film this video so bad. I tried yesterday and ended up having a mental <gasps> breakdown. So for some context, basically, um, about a month ago, this boy emailed me and sent a bunch of screenshots to me detailing how a bunch of companies reached out to him and casted him through DM. So as I was making this video, I was like, oh my gosh, I like completely forgot about, forgot about that email. I need to like go find it. And so I search up some keywords, like I search up his name, like I search up JYP, which is one of the many, many companies. Wait, actually, let me pull up the list so you guys know in advance. Of course, I'll be sharing these screenshots later in the video, so watch till the end. But literally, SM, JYP, FNC, KOZ, Abyss Company, more and more and more companies literally DM'd him and so he sent me an email of that saying that he could you could use it for your videos and I was like oh my gosh thank you so much and so yesterday night imagine me reading through every single email that was sent to, to me in October and November trying to find that email and I could not for the life of me so three hours later I just decided to text him on Instagram because he was following me and so I asked him like hey are you the guy that sent me the email like can you please just um, forward that email to me again and he was so nice about it and sent me like a lot more screenshot than what he like originally had sent and we had a conversation about his audition journey and it was very very interesting and honestly like so inspiring that this very young boy is like achieving his dreams getting DM casted by a bunch of different companies and I wish him the absolute best of luck but anyways after that disaster happened I was like okay now I'm ready to film so I start filming and then in the middle of the video it cuts out because my SD card is full and so I try to figure that out and then and it just doesn't work like this SD card isn't readable right now and so I bought a new SD card today overpriced as hell by the way but Amazon told me that delivery was gonna be tomorrow which is completely pointless at that point also not even what I make <gasps> for two videos which is so upsetting and oh my gosh it was like the most frustrating video filming experience but that led me here today I don't know if you guys give a frick but I just needed to provide some context as to how I got here. So if I sound a little frustrated, that might be why. But we're gonna be talking about DM casting today. So I made these two short videos and you guys requested for a full video, which I did kind of plan, so here it is right now. Ooh. I do recommend watching that video for some context, but the first video was like a general explanation, and then the second one was kind of like a video about K-pop idols who were DM casted and then auditioned. And another one that I want to add to that list is actually Stray Kids Felix. And so he was also DM casted, but not in a traditional Instagram sense, in a Facebook sense actually. So on Facebook, one of the JYP casting managers messaged him saying hey are you down for like a photo shoot and he originally thought it was a scam which actually a lot of these stories end up being like that way but originally he thought it was a scam but eventually said yes and he literally flew to Korea two weeks later so you see this is quite a common thing for a lot of fourth gen fifth gen artists in fact I was watching this video of like an SM reunion for like their 30 year anniversary or something like that and they were talking about how Karina and Won Bin who are the newer groups right of SM, Espa and Rise were both DM casted and originally apparently they don't try to showcase that they're an SM casting manager they just say oh hi we're like a casting manager and we're interested so originally they're gonna be suspicious right like okay like what company are you why are you trying to reveal that and then later on they apparently show their like business cards to Karina and Wambin and they're like okay now I trust you now that you work at SM Entertainment all right but going back to the general idea the general concept of DM casting so how does it work so you have to be quite proactive about it like you have to be active on social media you have to have a public account account um, typically Instagram usually I would say it happens on Instagram you could try for other social media platforms but I would put your focus specifically on Instagram because that is where all the DM casting activities go on I suppose so I recommend that you post either pictures of or videos of yourself and the key point here is obviously hashtags like there's no other way to find these audition managers or have them find you other than hashtags but also tagging them as well it's quite important but they'll be mainly going through hashtags so you might be asking what kind of hashtags should you include in your posts 
when you're posting them. So a really common one is your age. So hashtag 05 would be the case for me. Hashtag 10. What's actually insane is in this video where Shuha becomes a cube audition casting manager for a day, they literally tell her, the casting managers tell her, we only look for hashtag 08 and afterwards. And there's no like limits on how young you are, which is kind of insane. So in the video, they're actually looking at hashtag 10, like, 2010 liners <laughs> like okay that's a little bit extreme but that's how cube entertainment goes obviously it's going to be different for every single company i actually do want to do like a detailed breakdown on that video so if you guys are interested in cube let me know in the comments so some other hashtags that i recommend also might be in korean so obviously with korean hashtags like just make sure that you do have like a general idea of Korean if you are going to use these Korean hashtags. Otherwise, it just looks a little bit weird. So if you are interested in that, that might be like your birth year, but then 연생 next to it. So for example, hashtag 공구년생. So that just means you're like a 2009 liner. And then 아이돌 지망생 is another hashtag you could use. So um, basically like an aspiring K-pop artist. And then 신인 개발 팀 is also a hashtag that People use a lot so that's just the casting team like literally them so you might want to use that hashtag as well but otherwise just hashtag dance vocals you know like k-pop audition in english that is and casting director casting manager k-pop those are the key hashtags that you should use and honestly the more the better it's not going to hurt to use more hashtags so let that be known. Now another question that I get about DM casting is what are they really looking for? Like what should you showcase in the photos or your videos? And I'm gonna be so honest with you, it's most likely visuals. Cube Entertainment, just going back to that video specifically said they were looking at visuals, like a specific type of visual. They mentioned like a strong look in their eyes, like the certain vibe that they have or a certain aura that they have is what they're looking for. And of course they are looking at your potential and your talent as well, but I think that's mainly for online auditions where you know they're interested and they're actively going for these auditions. Think of it as like a more modern way to do street casting. So when casting managers back in the day used to go out in the streets and scout for people, they were mainly looking at visuals. So that directly translates to here where they are kind of looking at visuals in this case as well. So post your best ever looking pictures but also do not photoshop them because it can be obvious and honestly these casting managers it, it's their job right to see your potential in their visuals in your talent so they will be able to notice if you do use photoshop but otherwise i also highly recommend that you post your talent videos as well so in your bio firstly just make sure that you have a short description of yourself so maybe where you're from where you're living your ethnicity your age things like that like maybe your specialties or other hobbies that you like to include and then post your video so on your feed section it should be your photos and your videos and that can be a good way to stand out to the judges along with those hashtags that I mentioned before. My voice, I'm a little sick right now. So these are the type of things that they would say in a DM casting setting and this is so interesting to me that this many companies reached out to him and also the fact that he shared every single one of them with me so thank you so much if you're watching this like I know you're watching this thank you so much I would say his name but privacy reasons oh no 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 for JYP they specifically told him that they're from JYP I mean they texted him through the JYP audition official account so it's a little bit different to SM I would say SM is the outlier in this case where they are trying to hide their association a lot of the time in DM casting they just tell you where you're from or they DM you from the actual audition official Instagram account so you actually know it's real and it's not fake and it's a scam which I think it might be a little bit safer compared to like street castings where if a random cut person is coming up to you you don't really know what they're affiliated with even if they hand you a business card right anyway it says hello name I'm the JYP casting team name so I just out of nowhere just found your dance video and I decided to contact you and I really liked how you danced, like really enjoyed your dancing and I could feel your energy so I, I really liked your video. So if it's okay, I would like to request for an audition with you. So they asked, oh are you currently living in this specific country? And if you do reply, I can tell you more about the audition. And then it says at the bottom, this DM is you know, private, so don't share it on Instagram or any other SNS. Thank you. Oopsie. Then my viewer replied with, you know, basically, I am currently in Korea for two weeks. And then the guy, the JYP casting manager, replied with, oh, you are in Korea. That's great timing. I'll DM you through my personal Instagram account and then we can discuss more things from there. 
I don't really know why he did that, but after he sent that message, apparently they started having a conversation with his personal Instagram account, so not the JYP audition Instagram account, and they reached out and they said like, when are you leaving for Korea? And if you know before you leave, we'd love to do an audition with you things like that and then he replied with you know his schedule and then the JYP casting manager goes that it will be around one hour long the audition itself and we'll be doing a simple profile photo shoot and also you'll be able to showcase what you prepared so your vocal and dance for two each so two vocals and two dances like this is the tea you guys wanted like this is what they do in like kind of first round, kind of second round auditions, I would count this more like a second round because the circumstances do differ when you're casted, right? Whereas you're actually going for an audition. So this would be closer to a second round audition. And then they shared the location as well. And they say to bring a water bottle. So number three, they specifically tell you what kind of songs that you should prepare. Nothing too specific, just says, you know, something that matches your range and also showcases your vocal colors. Interesting. For vocals, they say that they will prepare an instrumental. So make sure you prepare an instrument, not they will, sorry. You can have an instrumental if you'd like. And it says that you can use YouTube or Melon, which is like kind of like a Korean Spotify, to find this instrumental, which is very unique. I didn't know about this at all. Now it says for both vocal vocal and dance, 1절 불량만, which means only one verse, so they are not looking for the entire song, they're just looking for different things. So in this case, they would be looking for different genres. So for vocals, maybe you want to prepare a more upbeat pop-like one, whereas um, the other choice might be a little bit more emotional, ballad-like. And then same thing for dance, maybe one can be more hip-hop, whereas other is more K-pop, simple choreography-like. In the description for dance, they say, please do a song where you can showcase the most confidence, there's no restrictions on k-pop or like a choreo doesn't matter which genre but if possible they like a song where you've like fully prepared so make sure that you bring a choreography where you can fully prepare it and likewise it says that or they share that you can put the sound like the music through youtube or melon find that music yourself and they're very detailed about this so number four is about the outfits so just make sure you prepare the one outfits that look best on you. So basically they just want him to prepare like a bunch of different styles. So it specifically says here sporty styles or street fashion styles, like please prepare those if you can. And make sure that you aren't wearing clothes that are too like, I don't know, bulky or like fluffy so that it doesn't like hide your body type is what they're saying. And then the dance shoot will be done after changing into that outfit. They also say don't wear hats, turtlenecks, or high heels. And then for number five, it says hair and makeup, which this one actually surprised me a lot. They said very natural makeup is fine. <laughs> and then they say if you can, you can like kind of trim your eyebrows or any other like hair, fine hairs on your face is kind of what they're saying, which is kind of funny. Like for a second round audition, you would not be expecting that. And then they say like, oh, if you have any other questions let me know and also are your parents coming with you i've got a bunch more here that honestly if i were to go through them this video would literally be 30 minutes long so let me know if you want me to make like a shorts video where i go through these screenshots and then like translate them line by line i think that would be helpful for you guys but it is pretty much like what you would expect like for example sm just asked them like the most basic questions and his dream company is actually entertainment or what am I saying? His dream company is SM Entertainment and apparently he did do an audition with them in Korea. He also trained with another company for a bit but then left because it just wasn't the right fit I suppose and I really wish him the best of luck. Like I think this is so amazing and great to see and it's amazing that he even offered to share these informations with me and hopefully it was helpful for you guys as well. Kind of gives you an idea of what companies are looking for in the second round. If you guys have any other questions about this, please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye.